for uh, both of us, I imagine. I imagine. I'm Jacqueline Bouvier. Uh, Jack Kennedy. Well, hello there. You two come together? No, 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 no I we just, just uh, got back in. I just got I back in town, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm like... Oh. So, you're the... Uh, Inquiring photographer, the one who trips up people on the street. You're not a bad tripper up for yourself, Congressman, from what I hear. Married? Engaged. He's in New York. Yeah. Travel weekends, I suppose. When we can. But who cares for David? You? Be hmm? what? Married. Yeah, please. Hmm. Anti-marriage, are you? Only for me. Uh, Why? Well, I don't think I'd make a very good husband. Really? Of course, I might be handicapped when I run for president. President? Mm-hmm. Of the United States? Well, unless I uh, change my citizenship. I'm, I'm sorry, that was stupid of me. It's just that you have said it as if it were fait accompli. Ah, you speak French. It's a rather lofty ambition. What, speaking French? Being president. Wanting to be president. Well, if um, ambitions aren't lofty, they're uh, not really ambitions, are they? But I can't get there, John. I just can't. Well, I'm on special assignment. Of course I'd love to see you. Now look, why don't you come here? Well, if it's business, you better attend the party. I miss you, too. Next weekend, for sure. Bye. Darling. Have you ever considered working at a career outside the government? Not really. This country's given a great deal to the Kennedy family. We've been taught to give back. Would you like to have lunch with me? What? When? Now, I only brought one. One what? Sandwich. We'll go splits, okay? You're not really going to eat that, are you? Why not? Well, it looks awful. <laughs> Everyone makes such a big deal about food. You want a beer? Do you eat like this every day? Oh, every day I can. I usually uh, work as I swallow. Saves a lot of time, gets things done. I'm sure you won't change your mind. I'd sooner eat the bag it came in. You're really serious about this president thing, aren't you? I am. Why? Why does it mean that much? Well, everyone has a dream, and uh, that one's mine. And your father's, I understand. My father always thought that uh, my brother Joe Jr. would be the first potato-eating Irish Catholic president of the United States. And he was killed in the war, and I'm next in line. Do you mind being a replacement? Well, it's more like uh, accession. You sound like royalty. This country is in a mess right now, like the rest of the world. And you're the man who can change it. Well, uh, let's just say that uh, progress is made because of uh, ideas, fresh ones, new ones, ideas, and I have a few. I want to get this country moving again. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck with your dream. Well, it's not a dream anymore. Once you open your eyes, it's surreal. <laughs> 